To celebrate this month's Chocolate Week, we're going to be reading from one of the most delicious novels ever written. It's called Like Water for Chocolate. It was published in 1989 and written by a Mexican lady called Laura Esquivel. Now the story follows a young girl called Tita, a young girl who all her life has been in love with Pedro. However, she's unable to marry Pedro because her family has an old tradition whereby the youngest daughter of that family can't marry because she has to look after her mother until the day she dies. So for Tita, the only way she can express herself is through cooking. Now the phrase, like water for chocolate, comes from the Spanish expression, como agua para chocolate. Now it's sort of a metaphor for horniness. Or it can also mean anger, such as a boiling rage, boiling mad. We join the novel where Tita's sister, Gertrudis, is visiting and she's looking forward to this perfect hot chocolate that she's going to drink. In this house, they made hot chocolate like nobody else's, since they took so much care with every step in making it, from its preparation to the whipping of the chocolate. Yet another critical procedure. Inexpert beating can turn an excellent quality chocolate into a disgusting drink, either by under or overcooking making it too thick or even burnt. There's a very simple method for avoiding the aforementioned problems. Heat a tablet of chocolate in water. The amount of water used should be a little more than enough to fill the cups. When the water comes to the boil for the first time, remove it from the heat and dissolve the chocolate completely. Beat with a chocolate mill until it is smoothly blended with the water. Return the pan to the stove when it comes to the boil again and starts to boil over, remove it from the heat. Put it back on the heat and bring it to the boil a third time. Remove from the heat and beat the chocolate. Pour half into a little pitcher and beat the rest of it some more. Then serve it all, leaving the top covered with foam. Hot chocolate can also be made using milk instead of water, but in this case, it should only be brought to the boil once. When the second time it's heated, it should be beaten so it doesn't get too thick. However, hot chocolate made with water is more digestible than that made with milk. Gertrudis closed her eyes. Each time she took a sip from the cup of chocolate she had in front of her. Life would be much nicer if one could carry the smells and tastes of the maternal home wherever one pleased. This was no longer her mother's house. Her mother had died without her knowing it. She felt real grief when Tita informed her of her mother's death. She had come back with the intention of showing Mama Eleanor how she had triumphed in life. She was a general in the Revolutionary Army. The commission had been earned by sheer hard work. She fought like mad on the field of battle. Leadership was in her blood. And once she joined the army, she began a rapid ascent through powerful positions until she arrived at the top. Moreover, she was coming back happily married to Juan. They had met again after not seeing each other for more than a year, and their passion had been reborn, just like the day they first met. What more could a person ask? How she would have liked her mother to have seen it. How she would have liked to see her even if only to be told with a look that she needed to wipe the traces of chocolate from her lips with her napkin. That was chocolate prepared like it used to be.